Back in 2015, the FNAF movie was first announced. A mere 8 years later, we finally have the trailer and oh, does it look good. 8 years of rewrites, changing of rights, and just overall pushbacks, no one really expected this movie to be made, or at least I didn't. But it's real and it's coming, so with all of this new and old information, we can make a pretty good guess on whether this movie will succeed, or even be good. A big thing I've been seeing, which we've been seeing before in other movies, is the animatronic eyes. In the trailer, the eyes turn red to sort of signify evilness to the audience, but as shown in many comments underneath the trailer, this just isn't needed. Sticking true to the game would feel much better. Also, it sort of looks similar to Willy's Wonderland, the Nicolas Cage movie, and I feel FNAF was trying to go for a more serious approach. But hey, hopefully they listen. Like with the Sonic team, after enough talk of changing it, or bullying, they gave in so maybe Blumhouse would do the same. We don't really know the plot of the movie yet, but we can make some inferences. Timeline-wise, we're in FNAF 1. I'd assume we stick with the lore we already have and not create new lore for the movies, so we can kind of assume a basic story, right? There are new characters, but for the movie to work, obviously we would need that. The setting is great, everything looks fantastic, and I think the ball pit is a great setting for some awesome scenes. A PG-13 rating isn't that big of a deal. I think for the sake of the rest of the trilogy being made, this is a good idea. Half of FNAF's current fanbase is in the age range of PG-13, so if it was R-rated, they most likely wouldn't be able to watch it. Blood and gore will be lessened, but it barely has an effect on the actual subject matter. Think of A Quiet Place or Insidious, both PG-13 movies that are one, scary, but also have dark or darker subject matter than FNAF, for the most part. Releasing alongside Saw X is a scary decision. Although I know FNAF has an army of fans that will 100% see the movie, having a release alongside a huge franchise is daunting. Blumhouse is also releasing the movie Day Of on Paramount+. Plus. For making a profit with FNAF, this could be a slight problem. The movie's budget is $30 million, so I would assume Blumhouse wants to make that back at the very least, but I doubt the movie will bomb. Overall, I'm super excited for the FNAF movie, and I hope you guys are too. So, let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Disagree? Who knows?